It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of a traditional chip shop dish that I have on a regular basis. In the UK, uh, chip shops are very popular. Uh, they're nice takeaways. You can order fish, chips, sauce and batter chips, fish, cake and chips, curries, pizzas, kebabs, that type of thing. Just for our European and, uh, and American followers, just explaining what this kind of food is. Here it is, I've got it. I've ordered a sausage and batter, a jumbo one, uh, with chips. And I'm gonna be pairing it with Dog's Window Brewery, Squeaky Toy, Mosaic, Pale Ale. Right, we have the food. I was gonna put it on a plate and get rid of the paper, but then I thought, no. This is how it's served in the UK. It's always served in, in it used to be newspaper, real newspaper. Then they've changed it to like this kind of grease proof paper. Uh, and this, this particular chip shop I use has got a, an inward, there's some nice writing here and there's some nice artwork here, traditional fish and chips going on. So, sausage and batter. What's a sausage in batter? You've all seen chips, fries as they call them in Europe and America. These are not your normal fries that you get frozen. These are hand cut, or maybe not hand cut, but machine cut potato that's deep fried. And it's a real British delicacy of British chips. I've always been a fan. I like fish, but I like this more. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a sausage in batter. So a battered jumbo sausage. Here, let's break it in half. There's a look at it in the middle. And it's super tasty. Let's get the beer open. And let's dive in. Mosaic Pale Ale. Whoa, there's a loads of smoke on that opening there. This is by Dog's Window Brewery. They're a brewery based in South Wales. Very nice chap, the owner. He advised me to review the vegan sausage roll by Greg. So, cheers to you for that recommendation. Here's your beer. Three finger white head, golden amber in color, good levels of even carbonation, nice clear beer to look at, aroma. Lots of mosaic hops coming through. Some nice light biscuit malt aromas. Spicy, peppery. Let's dive in. A little bit of mango, grapefruit. Cheers. Really good. Balanced. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Goes over to a grapefruity, bitter finish on the back end. Grapefruit. Orange peel, fleshy blood, blood orange, that sort of thing. Spicy, but easy drinking at 4.3%. A really good beer is Squeaky Toy. But I'm starving, guys. You can probably see it in these eyes. These, I, I, My eyes have gone into killer eyes. And that's because I'm hungry. Let's show you some traditional fish and chips. So, as I mentioned, here's the chips. Soft, fluffy, greasy. Mmm. My family call me the chip boy. I'm the chip boy of the family. There's always somebody in a family, I've got quite a large family by the way, uh, who's a chip boy, a chip monster. I'm the chip monster. Here's the sausage and batter. Crispy batter. Crispy chewy batter with a lovely pork middle. This is not like a kielbasa, like a Polish kielbasa or a frankfurter. No, this is very different. This is a British sausage. It's, it's a lot softer. There's no real like
<clears throat> I reviewed the Kibasa about four to five weeks ago. Really meaty texture. This is not really a really meaty texture. This is more, I don't know, really ground meat. It's a bit, it's a bit mushy, like a Richmond sausage. You've all heard of Richmond sausages, in the UK at least. This is more the consistency of a Richmond sausage, but it's so tasty. While I was around the chip shop, I asked the gentleman to put lots of salt and vinegar uh, on, on the food, especially on the sausage. And that's another British delicacy is to have lots of vinegar on your chips. Now, I was in, very quick story, I was in Croatia uh, recently in lab with lab split Bruno collaboration beer and They had a chain of chip shops where they designed the chip shop box where you could sit two sauces in and you could have mayo or or mustard or brown sauce or red sauce and I asked for vinegar and the guy at the counter was quite Vinegar and even the brewer I was with with was like vinegar you have vinegar on your chips And I said yes, you must try it so the person at the counter went to the manager of this chain and said, this guy wants vinegar. Uh, ah, he said. The manager came out, ah, I know what he wants. So we got a couple of sachets of vinegar, poured them on the chips, happy days. If you haven't tried, tried it, you must try malt vinegar on your chips and sausage. Mm. I am open to eating a lot of foods. I do a lot of traveling as a beer blogger and I eat lots of different types of food. You've seen me eating lobsters and, and, and lamb shanks with the bones hanging out everywhere in Michelin star restaurants. But deep down, if I had to choose, I would choose my favorite and that is sausage and batter with some really good well-made chips and this is very important to get a really well-made chip some chip shops they either overcook the chips or they leave them sitting too long these chips i found are one of the best where i live in this town in barry one of the best chip shops good quality potato not cheap potato used Quite greasy, but that's what it's all about. So I've let you into a little secret as to that is probably right there. That is probably my desert island food. Never mind my desert island beer. What I would take on a desert island, my last beer to take to a desert island. If you asked me to take my desert island food, it would probably be jumbo sausage and batter with some good chips, plenty of sausage and salt and vinegar. Now, let's take a little bit more time on the beer. Now we've been able to get more of the beer into the glass. It's become a hazy beer. I imagine now that the beer will have a little bit more taste, maybe a little bit more body. Let's get back in. It's really good. Big fan of the mosaic hop. First of all, the beer is quite carbonated. It's bursting with carbonation on the palate. I actually like that. It actually, that's quite heavy food. That's gonna sit in my stomach like a lead balloon, that food. And by drinking a nicely carbonated beer, probably an hour after you've eaten, will start to shift some of that not that, but pardon me. Some of that dead weight in your stomach, the carbonation will go down in there, move around, you'll bring some, some we call it burping here, you'll burp up some of that kind of dead weight that's down there, and it helps to relieve, there you go, helps to relieve that kind of congestion 
that you might have after a big meal. Good carbonated beer will do that. Um, the beer is nicely balanced, it's sweet, it's, it's, it's a little bit biscuity. The mosaic hops are really shining. Uh, they call it Dog's Window Brewery. Uh, I believe the dog sits in the window for his master when he gets home. A new brewery, I, I've reviewed one of their beers before, but this is terrific. This is a lovely little beer, it really is. Uh, using plenty of amazing mosaic hops throughout the recipe, uh, creates a clean hoppy pale ale with notes of citrus, pine and tropical fruits. Well done, Dog's Window Brewery. Lovely finish, peppery, spicy, very hoppy on the back end. I find it grapefruity and some orange peel and some, some punch bowl fruits. Tastes terrific. Rating for the beer. I really like that. That's the best beer I've had from Dog's Window Brewery. That is, for me, 4.3% ABV, buzzing with mosaic hops. That's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Food. It's my favourite. It's my favourite. So, I've let you in on a, on a little bit of... A little bit of one of my secrets. Of what I enjoy to eat. They don't call me the chip boy for nothing. 10 out of 10 for the food. Please put your comments in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, please comment in the comments box. Please leave us a like if you like. Please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Love you all to bits. See you again soon. Boom! Cheers.